women's clothes are always a fashionable topic in both senses. But whereas the fabulous creations of Europe's top designers are not to everyone's taste, something that every woman goes for is knitwear. Magazine photographer Arthur Goodchild comes to London's Walbrook Club to take some pictures for the fashion press, so let's go along now for a preview. This riverside club in the heart of the city makes an ideal setting for Arthur's pictures. Incidentally, those cashmere sweaters are the product of the biggest dollar-earning factory in Hoyek, traditional centre of Scotland's knitwear industry. Model Ronnie Goodlett wears a cherry-coloured pullover of brushed Shetland. Anna Fryer wears a turtleneck pullover with batwing intarsia sleeves in Florentine blue and white. Arthur's decided on a change of background, so the club's proprietor takes the models onto the club veranda where they take a few minutes off to admire a view such as few clubs can boast. On the right, Pat Goddard. On the left, Diana Jones, wearing an example of a style that will be increasingly popular, a twin set dyed to match the skirt. The colour is mistletoe green, and there's no denying that the sweater and cardigan matching the worsted and terrelene skirt make a charming ensemble. But if you didn't know already that cashmere is as delightful for cocktail or evening wear as it is in the daytime, here's the proof, demonstrated by Anna Fryer. The scoop neck evening pullover is in ivory shade and worn with a red and gold brocade evening skirt. Now for a variety of new off-the-shoulder evening sweaters. A feature of many of these creations is the intarsia motif, a highly skilled traditional process which has recently been revived. The white evening cashmere pullover with a matching stole worn by Ronnie Goodlett is decorated in this way. The intarsia design is inlaid by hand and knitted into the fabric. Hello, it's that man again. The poor girls can't even eat in peace. He wants pictures of Diana Jones in a slip neckline, Ronnie Goodlett in a eunuch style, and Anna Fryer with a roll collar. And before he puts that camera away, a shot of Shirley Hurst in yet another captivating creation. 